And now Dial, a soap that stops order before it starts, presents Dial Dave Garraway. Well there, old honeybee, what you buzzing around so fast for? Go light someplace for a while, huh? You can just sit there and relax with the old Garraway gang for a few minutes and think it'll do you some good because we've got one of the... Best sound of little gangs you ever heard. We got Constance Russell and Jack Haskell, who buzz up some pretty fine stuff. Art Van Dam, Dial Soap, the famous deodorant soap that brings you confidence on these warm June days or any day throughout the year. Dial, you know, contains an ingredient called AT7, which you may never have heard of, but which can do you a big favor. Removes old worries you might have had about perspiration odor by removing the basic cause. Just get some Dial Soap and feel fresh and clean all over Dial, that's D-I-L, Dial Soap. The newest, nicest way to stay free from odor, safe all day. Say, I have some very important advice for you ladies this morning. Advice not of my own, but advice of a famous psychologist on how to get along with your husband. This expert on family relations says, Ladies, never shout at a man. Don't holler or raise your voice at him. Don't scream and yell and carry on. Because you can do so much more with just a low, nerve-wracking whine. (laughs) That's a frightening little bit. (laughs) We, You know, Constance, that I do jest but in fun, huh? Before we get into any of this singing junk, Dave... (laughs) <laughs> remember remember that blonde girl I told you I took out the other night to the movie? The one with the trout fly in her hat? No, 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 no. Oh. It's kind of a pretty blonde girl. Well, that's her brother right back there. Where? Which one? The third from the end. Hi, brother. <laughs> he makes me nervous. He just <laughs> sits there looking at me. He's bigger than you are, too, isn't he? I told him the reason we stayed out so late was it was a double feature. <laughs> but he just looks at me. <laughs> He's not only a brother. He's probably been out himself, though. That, Brothers know. That girl eats more than a horse, you know. <laughs> Popcorn all during the movie. A steak that ran into more money than I care to think about after the movie. And even after the steak, when we left, she was tempted to bite the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> all girls are like that. Kind of, you haven't bitten any waiters today, have Not you? Not lately. You're different, though. You're sweet. It's a lovely day today. So whatever you've got to do, you've got a lovely day to do it in, that's true. And I hope whatever you've got to do is something that can be done by two. For I'd really like to stay. It's a lovely day today. And whatever you've got to do, I'd be so happy to be doing it. But if you've got something that must be done, and it can only be done by one, there is nothing more to say, except it's a lovely day for saying, it's a lovely day, it's a lovely day, it's a lovely day. That wasn't so hard now, was it? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Hey, you know what this is? This is National Bow Tie Week, and there stands that old Jack Haskell with the long, regular, what's it, a foreign hand you call it, huh? No. Shame on you, fella. Charlie's got one on, too. Well, the sponsors of Bow Tie Week have dropped me a little note to remind me about it. I don't need reminding because I always wear a bow tie, but the least you could do is to wear one on the program, I should think. I didn't know it was Bow Tie Week. Well... I brought one along. <laughs> no, uh, the quiet little item. That's lovely. Let's uh, let's just put it on. I Jackson. can't tie a bow tie. Dave. Sure, you can. I it's can't. an undertaker in every. Why didn't you bring one of those one of those with the clips? Go ahead, just put it. On. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Don't cut it in two, boys. You can both have a half of it. I'll put it on him. I used to work for an undertaker. (laughs) (laughs) Turn around. It's never going to fly. Oh, yeah, it'll get on. This bow tie resembles a very ill butterfly. (laughs) Is this your bow tie, by the way? It was loaned to me by the National Mortuary Company. I believe it. (laughs) By rubbing your fingers... All right, Charlie, take over. (laughs) By rubbing your fingers lightly over this tie, you can tell everything Garraway's eaten for the last week. (laughs) Eggs for breakfast. 
You swallow too fast there, you'll take off the ground. You got it too... Charlie, you're getting it too tight. I got my hand caught in it. Jack's face is getting red. (laughs) Why are my eyes bugging out? (laughs) That reminds me of an old joke that I won't tell you this morning. I don't think I'm going to like it. Yeah, that looks real ugly. (laughs) I just want to hear if it changes your tone. Jack. Yes, Dave. You look awful in that. I think it looks pretty bad. Let's start over again. We're not doing the national bow tie people any good at all talking like this. See if it changes his tone any. Sing like Mario Haskell. All right. Be my love for no one else can end. This yearning, this need. <laughs> Charlie, don't do that. That's so tight, Charlie. <laughs> create, just fill my arms the way you fill my dreams. The dreams that you inspire with every sweet desire. Be my love, and with your kisses, set me burning. One kiss is all I need to seal my fate And hand in hand we'll find love's promised land There'll be no one but you for me Eternally if you will be I have irrefutable truth that Haskell goes out with girls with poor eyesight. How come? Well, for one thing, there's lipstick at the bottom of his tie, and the other thing is that he's been out with a girl. That <laughs> girl would have bad eyesight. <laughs> I guess that holds up. <laughs> you sure look pretty with your face pink like that. Let him out. Yeah, I got a beauty hint for folks who, who would like to put their best face forward this summer, whether it's pink or not. Just make dial your complexion soap, and I'll tell you why, too. The very same AT7 that makes Dial, such a superb deodorant soap, also makes Dial, which is gentle and sweet-smelling all the time, makes it a superior complexion soap, too. It's like this, you see. Uh, well, you agree, don't you? The cleaner your skin, the better your complexion. That's what doctors tell us. And mild, fragrant Dial cleans your skin as no ordinary soap can do or ever did. Dial does so much more than remove daily dirt and makeup. Because Dial, with its AT7, effectively destroys the little fellows that live on your skin, small bacteria, which are the ones that so often aggravate and spread surface blemishes. So with the pretty summer coming up and those play clothes that show lots of your handsome complexion, the Dial habit is a dandy one for you, too. Teenagers have been finding this out in great, huge numbers. Dial's creamy, thick lather leaves your skin feeling so good and leaves it so clean. Two sizes, Dial comes in now. Complexion size and a great big old bath size. Get some and find out for yourself. Gee, I don't know what to say about the thing Arthur Van Damme is going to say because it delights me to make the announcement I always make, but everybody's heard it so many times. Can I make it just once more, Art? Sure, go ahead. Okay. This is the only number in the world, the spelling of which begins with an apostrophe. There. In the name of it is George Gershwin's apostrophe Swonderful. It always comes through on the music sheet spelled S apostrophe Wonderful, and they're doing it backwards. 
Hey, did you read uh, on the papers or on the radio, on the AP wire and UP2, I think, yesterday, about the Nazi soldier they found over in Poland, the one who was buried alive in a tomb for six years? I dreamed about that half of the night last night with my eyes wide open. I counted up all my worries and all the twists and tortures that I think I go through like you do, too. And then I just wrote them all off thinking about what that guy went through for six years. You remember, he was in a supply bunker, and they blasted the opening shut in 1945. That was before the first atom bomb went off. Sounds like a thousand years ago. And he lived in there for six years, got air through a little vent that wasn't destroyed, had lots of cigarettes and schnapps and food, and they had candles up to two years ago, and then two years ago they used up their last candle. And he lived in the dark for two years. And yet so tremendous is the human spirit that he made it. He's going to, I understand, be all right when he gets over the temporary blindness of darkness for six years. So next time you get uh, sorry for yourself, as we all do, think about that guy. Think about him coming out, looking around, finding us all ready to go underground. Maybe he'll want to get back in there. I wouldn't be surprised. Made me feel sort of better than I have. We got a cherry little duet? Mm -hmm. That'll be good about here. <laughs> Go ahead, kids. Whenever I feel afraid, I hold my head erect and whistle a happy tune so no one will suspect I'm afraid. While shivering in my shoes, I strike a careless pose and whistle a happy tune and no one ever I'm afraid The result of this deception Is very strange to tell For when I fool the people I fear I fool myself as well I whistle a happy tune And every single time The happiness in the tune Convinces me that I'm not It's real happy when, when it's sung, too. That's the opening tune in, in Anna and the King and I. I keep getting that too big, don't I? Where, oh, here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting old Fluttertongue Prentice and Connie and a little song about another fine armor product. Connie? It's the secret of youth, chiffon soap flakes. The secret of youth for everything you wash by hand, including your hand. Yes, you'll find chiffon soap flakes, a secret of youth for all the lovely things you wash by hand, including your hands that do dishes. Chiffon keeps colors looking so fresh and clear, and as for white nylon undies and blouses, well, don't worry about graying. Chiffon keeps them snowy white for ages, it seems. Well, of course. You see, chiffon is pure soap. No pure soap was ever made, and what a wonderful difference that makes. Chiffon is free from strong alkalis that harm delicate fabrics and fade exciting colors. So your nice silks and rayons, good cottons and nylon things look lovelier lots longer when you wash them in pure chiffon. It's the secret of you, chiffon soap flakes, the secret of you for everything you wash by hand, including your hands. They tell me that women live longer than men. Well, it just serves them right, that's all. We'll be talking to you again tomorrow, little one, until which time, some love and peace. Tomorrow and each weekday at this same time, Armour and Company invite you to dial Dave Garraway. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.